Is there anyone out there who's ever lost someone? You learn a lot about yourself when faced with loss. No one can ever prepare you for it. Today, I'm here to share a little bit about my story of loss and how I've used music to cope, to process, and to heal. Because to me, music isn't just about entertainment. I think it's a powerful healing tool. On my 26th birthday, I got a concussion that changed my entire life. <laughs> it happened in an unlikely place. I was performing in a musical. In what was perhaps my most dramatic performance to date, in my death scene, I hit my head on the ground. When I got back to the dressing room and I looked in the mirrors, they were moving. I thought to myself, did I just get a concussion? But I brushed it off. As you know, the show must go on. In the coming weeks, what was diagnosed as a mild traumatic brain injury changed the entire foundation of my life as I knew it. My brain injury changed the way that I saw the world. Suddenly, I had wavy and blurry vision. I couldn't look at screens for work without pulsing pain in my temples. It changed the way I moved in the world. I had balance issues I'd never had, and I felt unsteady. It changed the way that I experienced the world. Suddenly, lights and sounds felt like an attack on my system. I started wearing floppy hats and earplugs in public and sunglasses inside and out. And there was a thick fog in my brain. It was difficult to think through and remember things. And the worst of all, the pain was constant. Two months in, I saw a specialist who diagnosed what I was experiencing as post-concussion syndrome. He said most folks fully recover from this, some do not. I was confident that I would, but he ordered me to stop working altogether so that I could focus on recovery. He prescribed occupational therapy, speech therapy, physical therapy, and referred me to a neuro-optometrist. I could not believe that my life had changed so much from such a brief moment. Refraining from work and engaging in rehabilitation, my symptoms did not resolve. Within six months, I lost my jobs. I lost my ability to function in normal life. And I lost everything that felt like it made me, me. I couldn't even turn to music, something that had been with me all my life, something that had been a part of me even before I was born. My mom was a musician. But now it hurt to play piano. It hurt for all, my brain to send all of those single signals to my fingers. It hurt to sing. Using those resonant spaces made me feel like I was swimming. And it hurt to even listen to music. So I retreated from the overstimulating world and had to learn to live in the quiet. In the quiet, I questioned everything I'd ever believed in. I questioned everything that led me to this. I felt betrayed by my body. But I had to learn to navigate my changing identity and grieve the loss of the active life that I had been living. In the quiet, I also learned to better grieve the loss of my father, who had died two years prior from the neurodegenerative disease, multiple systems atrophy. In the quiet, I watched the world go on around me and felt like I was falling behind. I felt like my brain was limiting me, and I hated it for that. But around eight months after my concussion, there was a whisper of a melody that was repeating in my head incessantly. So I made my way back to the piano, even if for only a few minutes a day. And I found myself desperately wanting to write a song to process what was happening to me. But it didn't come right away. It was like I couldn't connect the dots to put lyrics to a melody or to put verses to a chorus. But I kept trying. And in time, this simple song came out that was cyclical and repetitive, and it felt like it represented what was happening in my brain. And when I told my doctors that I'd finally written a song, they took it as a good sign that I was on the path to healing. Music was helping me build new neural pathways. 
It gave me hope. Here's the chorus of that song. It's called Quiet My Mind. But the days are running, running together, and the months are flying by. Soon it will be years before I wake up, asking why did I let the time escape me? Have I fallen behind? But right now I do just about anything to quiet my mind. I continued in therapies in that first year, struggling with chronic pain, migraines, fatigue, overstimulation. But my mom was there for me in that time, caring for me and driving me to my appointments. After my dad died, we got closer than we'd ever been. We'd always shared a love of music. And she really was my favorite person. And then two weeks before the one-year mark of my concussion, she suddenly fell ill, and the roles reversed. I had to drive her to the hospital. And that was the first day that we heard the word cancer. We spent the next two weeks in the hospital searching for answers as she rapidly declined. I had to watch this usually strong, independent woman who spent most of her life sharing her gifts to lead and teach suffer. I could feel my entire foundation shifting again. I willed my brain to do whatever it could to be there for her in that time. I practiced the tools I'd been learning in speech and occupational therapy to record conversations with the doctors, to take notes furiously so that I could be present and help my family make the decisions for her care. And when it started to become clear that she might not make it out of this, she looked at me and said, I don't want you to be afraid. She was always a woman of faith, and she knew where she was going. The day before she died was Mother's Day, and a friend brought a keyboard into the hospital for me to play for her. All the fear and the unknowns, all the pain of knowing that this was out of my control and having to look ahead at a life without my mom and dad. All of it melted away when my fingers touched the keys. It was in that moment that I knew that music was so deeply a part of me that it would be with me for the rest of my life. Music would be my foundation. It would be my friend. It would be my purpose. It was a gift that my mother gave me. My mom passed away on my 27th birthday, and the grief the loss was balanced with the joy of knowing that she was out of pain. In the coming weeks, I wrote this song inspired by what she said to me in the hospital. It's called You Carry Me. It helped comfort me. It helped me cope with the loss. I don't want you to be afraid. to do all the things you dreamed of, even if I won't be there to see it, love. Don't worry, honey, I know where I'm going. We'll be done with all the not knowing, all the hows, all the whys. Keep your faith that the sun will rise, and I promise you're never without my love. And I promise you're never without my love. And I promise I'll walk with you throughout your life. You know I'll always be by your side, even if you can't see me. You carry me, one set of footprints in the sand, but I'll be there to hold your hand, even if you can't feel me. You carry me, you'll never be, you'll never be, never without my love. You'll never be, cause you carry me, never without my love. You'll never be, you'll never be.
for life You know I'll always be by your side Even if you can't feel me In your heart you carry me Losing my mom was a deeper loss than I'd ever experienced but it spurred me to fight harder to rehabilitate. Knowing how quickly life can change, I wanted to live every moment I had fully. I didn't want to be held back by my brain. So I sought out new doctors and new treatments. I learned to advocate for myself. I found a community of people around the world who experienced post-concussion syndrome. I no longer felt so alone. I fought harder to reconnect with the things that mattered to me. I kept writing music, and I found what a powerful tool it could be to help me regulate my nervous system, to help me process my emotions. Music is known to add serotonin. It, in two and a half years after my concussion, I found a new doctor who had precision diagnostic testing that had been not yet available to me, where we found root causes for some of my debilitating symptoms. It turns out that my brain injury had affected my autonomic nervous system, meaning the things that we don't think about that our brain controls, heart rate, blood pressure, they weren't regulating correctly for me. And in our two-week intensive, we found treatments that promised to be effective. Towards the end of our session, that doctor looked at me and said, you're gonna be okay. And that was the first time that I'd heard a, me a medical professional say those words since I had hit my head, and the first time that I believed it. When I left the office that day, this song poured out of me. The chorus says, I'll be okay. The first verse talks about the internal battle that I was fighting when I thought that my brain was the enemy. The bridge talks about walking paths. Those are supposed to be neural pathways, and the melody is like climbing a mountain because that's what recovery has felt like. And the most important part reflects what I've learned, that life is about balance. Times of darkness will be balanced with times of light, and there will be a time where I'll be okay. There's a battle raging in the streets, but it's nothing like the war inside my mind. The victories, the losses inside me, the casualties pile up. This season has been the hardest yet But the good and the bad news is this Everything comes to an end I'm gonna be okay I'll be okay Now everything, everything, everything will be fine Cause I'll be okay be okay Not everything, everything, everything will go right But I'll be okay It's time to reconstruct the city No longer wallow in the ruins Of the battlegrounds within my mind Left behind inside Memories in my mind They repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat The well-traveled walking paths of memories That repeat in my mind Must not become paved roads The well-traveled walking paths of memories That repeat in my mind Must not become paved roads well, travel walking paths of memories that repeat in my mind. They won't be, they won't be, they won't be compared roads. They won't be, they won't be, they won't be compared. They won't be, they won't be, they won't be compared roads of memories that repeat in my mind. They won't be Forge a new path, find the strength inside to leave the battle behind.
I'm gonna be okay. I'll be okay. Now everything, everything, everything will be fine. Cause I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Not everything, everything, everything will go right. But I'll be okay. This song helped me heal, and in the five years since my brain injury, I've fought to return to music so that I can share it and hope that I can find, help others find healing as well. I still deal with symptoms from my brain injury, but I am so proud to have come this far and to engage in what feels like my soul's purpose. <clears throat> because to me, music isn't just about entertainment. It's a powerful healing tool. Thank you. Thank you.